I've got the legend that is Nick Bundy in the car. So we're in the Isuzu. We're going to be doing some more of these videos with famous sparks. Well, you're not really famous, are you? Uh, I was waiting for that. But you're not that, are you? There's not you, much headroom you're... in this, is there? Why well, I keep banging my head on the ceiling? Well, yeah, you might be able to put it down. I don't know. Um, but the thing is, you're not going to get called up for Dancing with the Stars, are you? Maybe not yet. Imagine if you did. No, I can't. Well, I can dance, but not like that type of dance. But you'd go for the birds, though, wouldn't you? Oh, you've got wife. Can't say that, sorry. <laughs> no, so, yeah, but like, I watch it because it's like, I call it dad porn. So, you can sit there and watch it. Your wife's like, you fancy it? No, I just appreciate the dancing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sort of Look thing. Look at that fillet at the end. <laughs> yeah. Is that the right word? I don't know. Oh, it sounded good then, didn't <laughs> Yeah, it? it does, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I like watching it. Um, why are we talking about Strictly Come Dancing? I don't know, move on. Ask me questions, bruh. Oh, I don't really have any questions. What do you want to talk about? Nothing. Right, so, Nick, <laughs> you have been in the game for about 12 years, is that right? Yeah, about that. I don't Even know though I look 18, yeah. Um, you I don't, am, mate. I'm... Your youthful looks went about a year ago. <laughs> when I started YouTube, I've got all these wrinkles now. <laughs> yeah. and, I, and I smile. Yeah, so, got there. what's been the plan then, mate? Uh, I don't know, I just sort of... What, why I started YouTube or, or, or why I started being a spark? Well, it don't have to be, well, yeah. Just shoot from the hip, mate. We're having a chat. Okay. Uh, oh, long oh. long story short, I always wanted to get in the trades, because my family was in the trades. Ended up being a spark. Enjoyed it, you know, from day one. I'm not massively academic. Uh, you know, I'm quite dyslexic when it comes to reading and writing, but I'm good with numbers, so that obviously helped me out a bit. And, uh, yeah, went to some point at a really early age, too young. I'd worn everyone away from it. I was out on the tools in my own van at the age of 18, 19, something like that. It just sort of fell into place. It was never the plan to go straight away, but it is what it was. And uh, it took me a good couple of years to figure out, obviously making a lot of mistakes, paperwork, not being bothered to do stuff. And uh, yeah, and finally got to the place a couple of years ago. It was the last, beginning of last year after not really enjoying work anymore, especially by myself, and my, my dad passed away. My, obviously, I told you before, my best friend took his own life, and I just lost interest with work, especially being by myself. And that's sort of the time that I sort of found out there was YouTube Sparks. I thought, I oh, sod it, I'll give it a go. Started doing it, and then Adam jumped on board, and now we're rocking and rolling. I actually love my job. Did you expect to blow up like you have? No. No, no, no. The whole thing was I'll do 10 videos. I had a go old GoPro. I knew I was good at my job. Like, I like things neat and tidy. I like bits and bobs, but I didn't. I thought I'll do 10 videos, see how it goes. If I'm, if I'm not enjoying it anymore, I'll just stop. Um, but I enjoyed it. And to be fair, I would have still done it for a bit. Even if it didn't go anywhere after 10 videos, I probably would have carried on a little bit. But it was like, what, third video? And it just sort of blew up for me. And that was it. The rest is history, as they say. What, you blew up on the third video? Third video, yeah. What? And then my fourth video was about the one being my van broken into, and that like, yeah, got 50, that's a hot topic. 50,000 views within a couple of days. That is a hot topic. Um, that really annoys me, because we've been plugging away at YouTube. Well, I'll be honest with you, we ain't really been plugging away, have we? We've been sort of... You've been chipping at it, yeah, but it's, it's difficult. Podcast stuff is different to YouTube stuff. Um, but equally, now you've started doing the videos like the Monday Club. You're getting the views and you just keep... keep yeah, it's, go, it's going to take a while because it... Like, let's be fair, none of us are particularly uh, eye candy, are we? With the exception of me. Obviously, other than you, yeah. Uh, like, Rick looks like he's... Uh, we just found him under a railway <laughs> somewhere. Um, and, obviously, Neil looks like he's just come out of the the uh, Pacific Northwest forest, like mm. a Bigfoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 100% agree with that. Mark looks like, I don't know, a, a weird northerner. PE teacher. <laughs> he does look like a PE teacher, doesn't he? You know, like, well, once, once upon a time I was an athlete, now you won't. <laughs> That's why you're a teacher. A past life, maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so, no, but the thing is, Monday Club come about because we're doing a podcast and it, I, it, I don't really know how it come about. Me and Neil just, during just the lockdown, down, yeah, yeah. well, during the lockdown, um, I wanted to do a podcast every day, and Rick was like, nah, mate. I, I know, I remember that. you spoke to me about it. And uh, no, it I couldn't be no. us. 
I mean, so, yeah, sorry, carry on. You beg me, but I said no, it's not really for you. Um, and Neil was just, we've just done a podcast most days, and mm. it's only just something to throw away, we jump in, because me and Neil used to talk on the phone a lot, the yeah. same as me and Rick did, and I just said, should we do a podcast? And he's like, all right, and, and then we both got, well, he got the bug for it, yeah, and yeah. then Monday Club sort of come about because Rick got really busy and he couldn't really commit, and then I said, well, Neil, should we do something a little bit different? And then it sort of all merged into one and become something quite Yeah, where did Mark good. from? What's the story I, I don't really know. Just appeared. Well, oh, who's this guy on our Zoom call? <laughs> Do you know what? Has he been teaching children PE? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know up where. Up north. <laughs> it's up north. He's right up north as well. Yeah, he sounds dead weird. Yeah, when you when you get <laughs> when you get on the phone to him, he goes now then. <laughs> he does. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah, good impression. <laughs> now then, now then. Um, I don't know where Mark. I think Rick brought him on. Oh, I don't know. It's yeah. Maybe he's teaching Rick's kids PE. Rick lives in the deepest, darkest Basildon. Like, honestly, oh, right, okay. you have to have a passport to go to Basildon because once you get in, it's very hard to get back out again. Customs, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah they, they don't really let people out from Basildon. I don't even know where it is. South London, is it? No, no, it's Essex. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, so... Uh, Essex Why have you brought us into traffic? Because we got to go all the way back round. If you'd have kept going that way, you can't get back. Oh, no. That's like Basildon. <laughs> That's it, you're out. Um... So yeah, so you've been doing the old the old videos and that. Yeah. Um, you're getting pretty famous now. Yeah, it's getting there, isn't it? Yes, it is, mate. You're it getting... doesn't. It still feels weird. Like if you like you know me, you know what I'm like, and my friends and family. It's just still a bit all surreal with it. That people like thirty to forty thousand people weekly will watch my videos. And it's like, That's mental, isn't it? What? And how much love do you get? Let's not talk about the negativity. You get a lot of love. From yeah, people. yeah, yeah. I, it's annoying because you only have to get one shitty, crappy comment. And you focus on that, but the amount of positive stuff you get from the apprentices, from Come the old go sparks, down there. No, you really want to turn. Oh yeah, you, yeah. If you keep going, you can turn left here and go big loop around there. Um, but yeah, a lot, a lot of positive comments, a lot of nice comments. You know, messages, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, you name it. There's that many people out there that appreciate what you're doing, and obviously every now and then you get a comment where I learn from it. You know, different ways of doing stuff, pulling cables, chasing stuff sorting the van out so it's just, <coughs> it's just a nice community really but you just get one or two people that just have to ruin it but that's life that's everything you can do isn't it man we know about trolls yeah. uh, I've been trolled to death before um, it is what it is but I think you just focus on the positive stuff don't you you got to you, go, you start getting too negative with it you just lose interest for it um, I don't want to do that it's, worth, it's made my life better it's made my income better it's made uh, it's done well for life. Adam as well Adam's you know, but he's he's done that himself. He, he's proven himself. He's worked for free for a bit. He's a hard worker. He wants to to go he wants far. It, you with can it. tell. He's yeah, thirsty for it. You so, can tell he's all about being a spark. Uh, I know I've helped him being you know quite personal with it. As in, I've pulled him to the side, spent a lot of time and effort showing him how to do stuff. But equally, he's picked it up so quickly that I can only take credit for a certain percentage. The rest is on him, and uh, he's going to be a great spark. Yeah, there's a certain amount of passion that that will get you further than. If you really want it, mm. and it, uh, you can tell he does, because he, he loves it, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just, like, like we say, we just left him on the job, and he's just cracking on, give him the, give him the in charge uh, role, and he's just, yeah, so, okay. He's well, got you've no been in charge of Amy. <laughs> <laughs> Adam's in charge of Amy. Oh, Jesus. But uh, he knows, like, the way he talks to customers now, he goes in before me on jobs from on the phone, he sets up, like, he's just, he's just a mini version of me. Um, Poor lad. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> I tell you what, though, I think it, I think it's really good. Um, one of the things we talk about on Monday Club is apprentices yeah. and how important they are to building a business. Oh, now, yeah. you probably like what a lot of people say is can't afford an apprentice. What is going on with my windscreen here? Uh, you can't. We can't afford an apprentice, so that's why <clears throat> a lot of people don't have them. But Neil will argue you can't afford not to have an apprentice. Because yeah. if you can't make money off someone who's on minimum wage, shouldn't be in business. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's a see both sides to it. When, if you'd have put me back two years ago, I I wanted to, for literally someone to talk to, to stop the boredom, to stop the, uh, just loneliness of working by yourself. Because it does get bloody lonely. You know, empty houses, there all day, no one to talk to, the radio's only so much coming. And the guys listening to this will completely agree. You, there's only so much you want to listen to your headphones or whatever. Um, 
But then as work expanded, Adam gave me the chance. He wanted to do work experience, so he did six months for free. Like I, I did a year's work for free, where we figured out a system between us, and I knew well 100% that I could earn enough money to pay him and not struggle myself. But I had the opportunity with him to have that trial period. Some people don't get that. It's also important to say that although you didn't pay him, he's got a outstanding professional level, we're our nipex, Bosch, the lot talking. Snickers, yeah. He like, is kitted out, out. Yeah, he's got a lot of nicer stuff than a lot of electricians, fully qualified sparks. Yes. And it's 20 years out. Yes, um, he's got all the he's got all the wearer kit. He's got all the Nipex gear. He's got the absolute business end of everything. Tester, you know. Has he really? Mm. Who'd you get off? No, it's mine. <laughs> I bought a, I bought a newer one and just gave him that. It was mint. I never wanted to throw. It. I wouldn't have, wouldn't have sold it or thrown it away. It's a good se second tester, and I had that since I was training. And I've had that myself for like nine years. So. What tester is it? Fifteen oh two, mega. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wicked tester. That's the thing, like having an apprentice, that stuff you would keep and not sell because mm. this is the thing that about tool theft, getting back, coming full circle back round to tool theft, is, right. around, right. is because actually tradesmen don't sell their tools. No. I've, I don't know a lot of people that would sell their tools. You might sell a tool to a tradesman on site and be like, oh, I've got a spare one. Do you want this? Mm. I, to be honest with you, I've not even seen that happen. No. So, I've given away a few tools in the past where someone's had something nicked locally. Um, but I've never sold our drill. No. The, the only reason I ever get rid of a drill is it's absolutely knackered and it goes in the bin. Yeah, exactly, because what you do is you leave it at home for your DIY drill, don't you? Yeah. Where are we going now? Uh, far right. And that's the thing, that's the great thing about having an apprentice. They can have your, your seconds and stuff like that. Because actually, who wants to keep hold of old drills and stuff? No, exactly. And it's a good place to, get, to, to give it. What's going on? Where is this mental place you've taken me? Well, if you turn right down here, we're back at the job. Oh, all right, mate. Yes, <laughs> we are. Well, that was our video with Nick. <laughs> no, no. It's just, just so much traffic at this time. What is it? It's, it's nearly 12 o'clock. Oh, Stafford no. is just the worst place for... Uh, is it really? Yeah. For... You want to come down to Kent one day? Mm. Come down to the Fanet Coast? Mate, you would love it. It's a long way away. It's four hours away. <laughs> if you want to go back to the job, it's right here. Come to carry on going to you. Uh, I think we're done. I think that's it, man. Well, that's what, 10, 12 minutes. That's cushy. I'm going to make separate videos out of these.